hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so a lot of you would have heard the story about ekwere madu he's a nigerian politician went to the uk for an, uh, an organ transplant for the daughter and they took the child of a poor man um to donate um kidney for their daughter because she was unwell i just want to talk about i was just i was looking at recent pictures of the man and the wife and I, when I looked at how much they've changed, because this man has been in custody since that time, now they've been found guilty. So um, they've not yet been sentenced, like um, they've not said how many years or whatever their punishment or, or their sentence is going to be, right? But the few months that their situation changed, when you're looking at the pic, if you're looking at, when you're looking at the picture of them now and the picture of them before, the difference, eh? Hmm. like seven up talk seven up say the difference is clear the difference of how this couple used to look and how they look now do you know how they look now to be honest with you guys they look like the average nigerian they look like the everyday nigerian they just look so how do i say that they just look so well i use the word regular or just like you know, and what does that tell you? It tells you that <laughs> many Nigerian people find oh, not just money and stress and everything. Now they make their bill, I say they're no fine. If you look at this couple before, how they fine, fresh. Now that they've been through stress. See how they look like. The man right now, I'm not saying this to mock them. Oh, I'm just being honest. The man right now can pass for somebody's uh, driver or a git man. The wife now can pass for someone's uh, cleaner or uh, what's it called now, uh, um, uh, nanny or uh, what? What uh, you know? All the all the domestic stuff. She just looks very ordinary now. Very ordinary. What does that tell you? I'm just thinking about. Honestly, it made me sit down and start thinking about a lot of Nigerians that you see. They don't look fresh. They don't look, let me use the word beautiful, because you know, I believe beauty is more than physical looks. But let's just say, you know what I mean? They just look anyhow. They just look, a lot of these people will look like princesses. We look like prince, uh, look like kings and queens and princesses. And if money day, if stress reduce, if, no, if not for what they are going through in life. Just look at the picture of this man and the wife before. And then look at the picture of them now. Just, just look at that. Just to see. No, like, I'm being honest. When you look at them, and you see how, let me use the word regular they look. When I say regular, the regular Nigerian you see on the street, they eat what about their daughter. If you see the pictures of her before, and you look at the pictures of her now, I keep saying what kept on coming to my mind is the everyday Nigerian that is still struggling. The everyday Nigerian that have not yet seen an end in sight. The everyday Nigerian that is not in opportunity, in a, in a, in a position of a, authority to be chopping money, be chopping life. It shows you what stress can do. It shows you what stress can do to the human body. It shows you that. You know, that's why, honestly, to a great extent, when you come to Nigeria, that's why it's always easy to spot the Ajebota versus the non-Ajebota. I'm telling you, a lot of so-called Western society, you can't really quickly tell which child is child, which child is which. Is most of the time, for Nigeria, you've come to school, you can tell who is your Molowo Pekin and who is not. You know, the church you attend, you can tell who is the rich person and who is not, just by the way they look. Do they look stressed? Do they look poor? Do they look like they are struggling? You know? That is what that is. I, I, I say I have not been able to get over. Even when I saw the picture of them in the dock, you know, in, Amer in, in America, sorry, in the UK, there's this place, you know, the, the in the courtroom, there's this uh, like a glass play. Uh, how do I even phrase it now? But they call it the dock. Like that is where they stay behind this uh, glass. They stay there while they are in court, you know, because they are still... Hmm, you can even see the police. I think a police, uh, there's a police officer there with them. You know, I, I typically they put them there so that they don't escape, so that whatever it is, you know. So look at the man standing there. And I'm like, you know, when the mighty has fallen, I don't know how many years they're going to give them. 
They give her five years, ten years, I don't know. He's going to come out, he's still going to have, if he, once he comes out and he goes back to Nigeria, I believe he's going to have the life he used to have. Because this man, I can bet you, has a lot of properties, a lot of money. Forget, let's be honest, right? But, let's be honest, right? But right now, he doesn't look that fresh at all, right? So, look at that. My thing I keep saying is, when you look at that, you see them in the dock. Two of them, you're looking at them, like they look like the everyday Nigerian that is... That is suffering. If you look at those pictures. And my mind keeps going to. Imagine how a lot of Nigerians would look. If they were chopping the kind of money politicians are chopping. Imagine what. Nigerians are five people. Forget matter. Imagine the kind of freshness. The whole country. And you, you, let me tell you guys. Um, I think about it sometimes. As a Nigerian. Do these our politicians not ever sit down and say, ah, it go good to make all our all our people fresh like this? You know, as we they chop life, it go good make every other person chop life. Will you not be proud if you come to your country, everybody is doing well to a great extent? I know Bible say the uh, poor will always be with us, but you know, some people use that Bible quote, but it didn't say we should leave them like that. When Jesus was even saying it, he was, he was not saying it to say, eh, eh, they will be always the poor people, just leave them like that. No. If you look at the Bible, it talks, talks, Jesus talks so much about caring for the poor and the needy. That's why he said even on the last day, he will say, what's it called? Uh, uh, he will say, we separate the sheep from the goat. How go to separate them? How will he separate them? The, when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was poor, you, when I was this, you this. When I was, what did you do to the list of, excuse me, what did you do for the poor and the needy? That's part of the criteria on the last day. So he never said, leave them in poverty. I'll say it again. Look at the picture of the man before. And look at the picture of him after. Look at the picture of his wife before. And look at the picture of the wife after. Look at the picture of their daughter before. And look at the picture of their daughter after. See, you see the difference. You see the difference. You know. Like I said, I'm not saying this, I'm not made, I'm making this way to mock anybody, whatever. I'm just coming from the angle of when you see how they look, how ordinary they, let me use the word ordinary, they look, they look like a lot of Nigerians that you and I have seen. The everyday Nigerian. They look like them now. What does that tell you? Imagine all the poor Nigerians you're seeing to see they see money. How amazing their lives would look. Now money and stress. Poverty. What is making some people be like, say they're no fine. They're fine. No less the money, no day there. Now that is just, uh, you know. And then it breaks your heart for our country, Nigeria. It breaks your heart for the poor. It breaks your heart for the oppressed. It's sad. You know. It's, it's really sad. Anyways, I thought about that. I just wanted to make a quick video about it. As always, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.